Hello guys, um, happy Wednesday night. I'm trying to think of what, what time frame it is right now. Um, I wanted to come on today and, and just I have something on my mind based upon kind of like a reflection of how this year has gone for myself personally, but then also I wanna hear from you guys and I wanna share this message because I think it's so beyond important. Um, I wish I could see who was on, but I, oh, Susan, you're on. Hi there. How are you doing? And Lauren and Amanda. Hey guys, how are you guys? Um, so anyways, oftentimes what I find with a lot of the people that I work with, and I work with mainly women, is that life happens to them and they're not necessarily making life happen for them. And what do I mean by that is, is if we don't, as women, this goes for men too, but I'm, I'm just kind of like focusing on us ladies. If we don't um, really prioritize what it is that we want in life and what our goals are in life, then what's going to end up happening is that life will just happen to you 100%. And when life happens to you and you're not in control as much as you can be of what's occurring, I'm going to tell you right now, you're normally going to get shit handed to you. Life doesn't happen to you in a very productive way that is beneficial and positive. So like, let's just think about like the overall universe in general. There's a law of, of entropy, which means that energetically, the universe likes chaos. That's the law of entropy. So think about how quickly I can destroy a building, I can destroy a car, I can destroy a human body. And then think about how much work it takes to build up something. And... um. I find that a lot of the times we as women are lost sometimes in what it is that we want, what it is we want in our relationships, what it is that we want in our health, what do we want for our career goals and our ambitions, and so on. And then so what happens is it's just kind of like, oh, I'll just take whatever job I get, or I'll just, um, my, my health will just start to magically hopefully do better. And, and we take no active role in really making a plan for what it is that we want in our life. And I'm going to tell you right now, if we continue to do that, you are going to end up having another year that you look back on and you're like, well, what the hell happened this year? Now, there's certain things that we can't control. 100%. There are certain things that we have no control over. All we can control is the way that we respond. But I will tell you, when we have unbelievable clarity behind what it is that we want out of life, then and only then do I start to think or do we start to think about the fact that that's a reality, the fact that we actually have faith in that belief. And when that happens, now we're putting that energy out into the universe. And then and only then are we actually going to take action to obtain that goal. So, so what do I mean by that? If I um, want to be in a relationship, I cannot expect for some magical man or woman to just walk into my life and then everything goes according to plan. It really doesn't work that way very often. No, I have to actively put myself out there and try to go meet people and date and so forth, whatever way that's going to be. But I have to actively believe that I deserve that. I have to understand what it is I want out of that relationship and then actively try to go and find it. Um, same thing with a job. If I'm having, if I'm at a job that sucks and it's like taking my, like literally my entire life away and stressing me out, which is so many women, um, and I just kind of passively stay there, then we should expect that life is not going to be very fun. Or I can actively decide what it is that I want in life for my career purposes, and then I can go find it. But if I just am like, oh, maybe something will just pop up or maybe I'll just apply for these random positions and my life will change. That's letting life happen to you instead of you taking control of life and making life happen for you. And this is something that I think a lot of people don't um, even believe in. They don't believe that we have as much control as we do. And, and I'm here to tell you, we have an insane amount of control over the outcome of our life as far as things that we want to obtain. And when you really have unbelievable clarity in what it is that you desire and want in life, then and only then can that desire really come true. Because now we're gonna have that energetically out there and I'm gonna take the action to do whatever that is. So let me just give you a personal example. 
Last year, exactly at this time in December, I knew that I wanted to have my own business and I knew that I wanted to help women in a way that was very different than what I was able to do at that time. I was working at a clinic. I was super stressed out. I, I, I was overworked. I wasn't able to provide the care I knew that these women needed. And I was really not in the best situation. I had started my own business last June, um, but by December was to, completely burnt out and complacent and didn't know what the hell I wanted in life. I didn't know if I wanted to put the energy or time into really starting my own business or if I just wanted the ease of working part-time at that clinic. Um, I did not know what I wanted. And so I literally spent the entire month of December outside in my backyard and I I had a hot tub, I don't anymore. And I would sit out there with my glass of wine and I would reflect on what the heck I wanted in life because I didn't know and I was causing a lot of turmoil in my life. And I wasn't about to let this next year, 2019, come in and, and just kind of happen to me. I was like, I, wanted, I want to really have a goal set, set forth. So I did that. I listened to a book called Following the Path by, uh, I believe, Jean Chittister. That was insurmountable in in me coming up with an actual decision. And so it took me literally months to figure out what the heck I even wanted. But once I took the time to figure that out, I really had clarity. I was like, I want my own business and I want to be able to help women in a way that is way, way better than what's my current situation. And that's going to completely fulfill me and knowing that I'm doing everything for them and that I can really make an impact and change in women's lives in my local community and elsewhere. And then so I hired a business coach in January and paid a crap ton of money for that business coach. And the only reason why I made that decision, which was hard as hell to make, was because I finally had the clarity of what it is that I desired and wanted. And I would have never made that decision if I didn't first determine that. Um, you ever have a shitty and awesome combined? Yes, all the time. <laughs> um, anyways, Regina, you're so funny. <laughs> That's probably like most people. Um, so now it's the end of 2019 and here I am. I completely got my business up and running just like I wanted. I have literally been able to impact women all over the entire world who have pelvic floor problems and been able to help them change their life and get past this health concern and out of our shitty medical system. And I feel so unbelievably fulfilled and proud of like what this year has has come to. But the reason why this has happened is because I first took the time to figure out what I desired and wanted. And then I believed and had unbelievable faith in the fact that this was going to occur. And I put all of the time and energy into that. And when I, when I look back at my life, thank God, my mom has taught me just to think and live this way. But I'll tell you, most of us don't. And most of us really become victimized to our life circumstances. And if you continue to live in that lifestyle, I'm going to tell you right now that every year you're going to be disappointed. Because if we don't take control of what we desire in whatever aspect that is in our life, then we just absolutely cannot have a life. Life does not just beautifully, magically happen to us. We have to put a lot of effort into it. Um, in order to have a really high quality life. So anyways, I, that was just something that's been on my mind and that I just wanted to share because I want all of you out there to realize that you are so capable of a million times more than you ever think that you're capable of and to just believe in yourself, find the time to figure out what it is that you desire and want in life And then just go for it and just know as long as you continue to believe in yourself, it will happen. Like some version of amazingness will happen in your life. But it starts with you first determining what the heck it is that you want. And um, I don't think that as women, culturally, we are taught to really focus on what the heck that we want as women. And um, I'm going to tell you right now, like focus on yourself, girls, because like we are so deserving of it and, and you're all capable of it. Like, seriously, I'm not just saying this just to like put some fluffy crap out there. Like you are all capable of doing whatever it is that you desire to do. You just have to believe in yourself and first have that thought and then just go for it. 
So, all right, you guys have a beautiful rest of your Wednesday night. Um, thank you for all that watched and are listening. And Lindsay, thank you. So are you. You are have been just a blessing in my life this these past couple months. So, all right, bye guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.